Remo is the leader in the brake manufacturing. We equip top road cars, starting from Ferrari, Porsche, and uh, as I said, all the top cars, and uh, we are also involved in, uh, in racing, starting from Formula One to GP2, GP3, Formula 3, uh, and on a motorcycle. We are supplying brakes for MotoGP, for Superbike. So I would say, yes, he's the leader in brake manufacturing. We are based in the north of Italy, uh, close to Milan. Brembo is certainly a brand and name well known in Italy. It's one of the biggest Italian company. A Brembo born as a company in the 1961. The, the first product made by Brembo was the uh, disc. And then in the 70s, we start to make brake systems for motorbikes. And this was the first challenge on moving from just uh, the disc to the complete brake system. Then in the 80s, uh, we start to supply Porsche with, uh, with the complete uh, brake system. And from that point on, uh, we started to be year by year involved in the production of the brake system for uh, top cars. Uh, in the 1975, uh, we started to supply brakes in Formula One when uh, Enzo Ferrari asked uh, our president to design and build the brake system for the, for the car. And the history is uh, it's very short, but uh, seen a very quick growth from uh, this producer, as I said, in the 60s. And actually, we are the largest brake manufacturer in the world. It's a good example of uh, how an Italian company can be successful also outside of the border. How a racing brake, I would say, is made. You, you start, obviously, the design is the first. Collecting all the requirements given by a specific team, a car manufacturer, knowing the previous experience with the previous brakes, understanding which are the targets in terms of stiffness, installation, weight. These are the information we collect in order to start the design. It requires um, structural analysis plus computational fluid dynamic calculation that allowed us to develop the brakes under the performance point of view, so stiffness driver feeling, to guarantee that on the car you could keep constant and reliable performance. Then, as soon as the 3D model is released, uh, we start with, uh, with the production and then the machining is starting. Uh, while the machining is starting, in parallel there are components that need to be prepared in order to be assembled in the caliper. I'm talking about pistons, pet abutments, uh, bleed screws and all these kind of components. While the production is completed, the caliper goes to the assembly department that uh, assemble all the parts uh, and uh, make the final components. They test the parts inside of, uh, of the department in order to understand there's no any leaking. Uh, while one, the first part is released to the testing department where we are now to make the performance check. Performance check means static check where we check uh, the stiffness uh, and um, we live test of the caliper plus the dyno test when we repeat exactly the behavior of the, of the brake system on the car. If everything goes right, the caliper arrives at the car and uh, it's ready for a, for a race weekend. The difference between race brakes and road brake, especially in the last years, is very big. So let's say that a Formula One brake system is easily six times, five, six times uh, lighter than a city car brake. For road car, we supply and we produce carbon ceramic which is, uh, let's say, halfway from a race brake and a road brake. Carbon ceramic, of course, has a much longer life than a race brake because it has to last as long as the car life. You know, pets for a road car, they are part, partially metallic and partial uh, resin, and, but heavy, heavy component. Or ca on carbon brakes, these can pets are the same material, so are very light. Carbon brake has the capacity to dissipate a much more, much bigger amount of energy 
and uh, dissipated means sucks and, and dissipate to the air. That's why Formula One car can uh, stop in a, such a short time. The disc achieve a very high temperature during the braking, but in a few seconds it cools down and you can never achieve the same performances with uh, cast iron. There is no way. So what would be the future on, on brakes for road cars and racing cars? Um, I think that uh, road cars are moving to electrical uh, cars very, very quickly. There would be certainly a better integration by all the systems of the car and the brake system as well. So we could think that the brake by wire will become shortly a reality. Brembo itself has developed and is working on the, on the brake by wire in order to be ready with this new concept. Probably five years ago, we thought that we already reached the maximum in cooling we could have from a, from a brake system. Actually, we are probably, I don't know, five, six, ten times better than five years ago. There are always an, an improvement, an improvement on material lead us, uh, us to reconsider the, the geometry and then the design. Um, improvement in, the, in con new concept introduced on, on the brakes to generate torque to guarantee higher friction. I think this is well integrated in Brembo and in the Brembo philosophy.